There's a question we've been asked a lot about integrating your bubble app with the OpenAI API to generate AI content. And that is, can you make OpenAI quicker? The short answer is no, because that's down to their servers and their service. But you can offer your users visual feedback to tell them that something is happening. And this is particularly useful because Bubble doesn't support the OpenAI text streaming protocol, at least not yet. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can provide your users with a loading animation while you wait on OpenAI and then remove the animation uh, when you're done. And if you're learning Bubble, you need to check out our website, planetnocode.com, because we've got videos on there exclusive to our members that you cannot find on YouTube. We've got hundreds of videos available at planetnocode.com. So I'm going to, in this demonstration, use a, uh, use a, a loading animation from uh, loading.io. And I like them because they've got a lot of choice here. There are a lot of free ones, but you can also export in a number of different formats. And I'm going to demonstrate how you can do it with CSS. And I like doing it with CSS because you're not going to experience the pixelation you might experience with a GIF. It's always going to be crisp. And also it's not going to have the impact on page load that loading an image or a series of images uh, might take, uh, which is what's required if you're loading in any other form of animated image. Uh, so. I've got my demo here and basically when I click submit I want to show loading and then I want to show the results. So uh, let's add in uh, a HTML element because this is going to be my loading animation and uh, go into loading and then if I click on CSS and then free download I'm going to copy this into here and just play with this a little bit uh, in fact, if I make, uh, okay so I'm gonna I'm gonna eyeball this but obviously you could make the design a lot cleaner it's probably going to be more like uh, 120 way too small yeah and then we just need a little bit more extra height obviously this is going to depend on the size of the CSS element you might need to um, tinker slightly with, with some of the code in here. Uh, but anyway, I just want to make sure that it's now all visible. <laughs> Let's just get this in a sensible range. Okay, that's gonna work just fine. Um, so uh, now if I click preview, uh, the loading animation is going to be visible by default and so is my text area. So instead, I'm going to uh, tell this one to not be visible on page load and to collapse when empty. And the same with here, not be visible on page load, collapse when empty. And then on submit, I'm gonna add two additional actions into my workflow. Uh, one is uh, to show element. So I'm going to show my HTML element because that's where my loading CSS animation is. And I'm gonna put that up front. Uh, I'm then going to put here, which is, so OpenAI makes the call. This is where the waiting happens. This is where the response is saved. In this case, I'm using a custom state. Um, and so I can here, I can say show uh, which one is it? Multi-line input. That's where I'm set. That's where I'm displaying my response. And then I can hide uh, the HTML. Let's try that. So I'm going to fill in my form and we'll say again, uh, which is better WordPress or Bubble? For those of you who don't know, I come from a WordPress background and I love them both equally. Uh, but let's see what OpenAI says on the topic. So you can see that the loading animation has come in now and it's going to stay there while OpenAI takes its time. If you really wanted uh, to offer an incredible user experience, you could look at how OpenAI's response time is dependent on the number of tokens that you send and receive. And there are plugins available in Bubble which will calculate the tokens. I think you also get the tokens back when you send the OpenAI uh, response, although they only come at the end. Anyway, the point being is that if you know the number of tokens, you can make a rough estimate of the amount of time, which means that you could display a progress bar that very roughly show, takes the amount of time to progress required to get your response back. Anyway, 
there you have it. That is how you can add in a UI element to improve the user experience in your Bubble app if you're using Bubble and OpenAI uh, by adding in a loading animation.